Hey guys, Dr. Jess. I talk a lot about how genes and the environment interplay, but let's show a purposeful example here. So for example, certain genetic predispositions can make it difficult for us to tolerate certain toxins because we're all bio-individual. However, certain toxins can also change the expression of genes and make it difficult for us to tell what came first, the chicken or the egg. So in this particular study, which was published in 2020, you can see that what we're looking at is workers in China who were making Roundup Ready or glyphosate. Now, I don't think glyphosate is good for anyone, but in this particular study, they noticed that people who had a specific liver enzyme defect, a CYP liver enzyme defect, had trouble with glyphosate. And what they noticed that was that in these people, glyphosate induced a genetic change or uh, a decrease in an enzyme called cholinesterase. And when this enzyme is decreased, what's affected is movement and neurons firing and muscles contracting because acetylcholinase or cholinesterase breaks down acetylcholine and succinylcholine, which help control movement and neurons firing and brain cells working and muscles contracting. So when glyphosate induce the decrease in this enzyme, it may affect muscle, muscular contraction in neurons. And that according to the researchers, this level of decreased cholinesterase was a sign of liver failure. So how toxins affect our genes and how our genes affect toxins all matters.